In the annals of U.S. Navy history, few commands hold as much weight as the call to general quarters. It is the signal for all hands to man their battle stations, to be prepared for any threat that may arise. And for the past 50 years, one weapon has stood as a symbol of readiness and defense aboard Navy vessels, the M14 rifle. Originally developed as a standard-issue rifle for the U.S. Army, the M14 eventually found its way into the hands of Navy sailors as well. As the rifle was phased out from Army and Marine Corps service, the Navy began to receive greater numbers of the weapon, recognizing its value in providing close-in defense for the ship and crew. But the M14 was more than just a combat rifle. It also served a specialized purpose in Navy operations, particularly when equipped with the MK87 Mod 1 line throwing kit. This modification allowed the M14 to be used as a line throwing tool during replenishment, unrep, operations, demonstrating its versatility and adaptability in a variety of naval scenarios. The significance of the M14 in Navy history cannot be overstated. For half a century, it has been a symbol of strength and preparedness, standing ready to defend the ship and its crew at a moment's notice. In the hands of sailors, the M14 has been a source of reassurance and confidence, a tangible representation of the Navy's commitment to protecting its assets and personnel. As we look back on these old photographs, we are reminded of the pivotal role that the M14 played in U.S. Navy history. Each image captures a moment in time, a snapshot of sailors standing at the ready, armed with their M14 rifles, poised to defend their ship and their fellow crew members. It is a testament to the enduring legacy of the M14 and its impact on the Navy's operations over the years. These photos serve as a window into a bygone era, a time when the M14 was an integral part of Navy life. They offer a glimpse into the challenges and triumphs of naval service, and the crucial role that the M14 played in ensuring the safety and security of U.S. Navy vessels. For those who served during this period, these images are a powerful reminder of their dedication and sacrifice in defense of their country. As we reflect on these old photographs, we honor the legacy of the M14 and the sailors who wielded it with courage and determination. Their commitment to duty, and their unwavering resolve in the face of danger, is a testament to the enduring spirit of the U.S. Navy. And in the timeless words of the General Quarters call, we are reminded that the M14 rifle will always hold a special place in the heart of the Navy, as a symbol of readiness, vigilance, and the unyielding determination to defend freedom and democracy. In the late 20th century, the U.S. Navy faced a growing threat from small boat attacks, particularly in the Persian Gulf. The danger came from fast attack craft, which were increasing in both numbers and capability. These vessels, often armed with automatic weapons and rocket launchers, provided a cost-effective means for smaller navies, such as Iran, to harass and potentially overwhelm larger U.S. Navy ships using swarm attacks. Of particular concern was the emergence of drone ships, which added a new dimension to potential swarm attacks. The U.S. Navy's 5th Fleet Public Affairs Office reported multiple incidents in which Iranian vessels crossed the bows and sterns of U.S. vessels at extremely close range and high speeds, posing a serious threat to the safety of American sailors. To combat this growing threat, the U.S. Navy developed its Surface Warfare Mission Package (SUW), which included an integrated weapon system designed to destroy small craft that attacked at speeds of 35 knots or more. While this impressive modern technology was crucial in the fight against small boat attacks, the M14 rifle remained a staple in many of the ship's arsenals. The M14, a powerful 7.62mm rifle known for its legendary accuracy, provided a strong deterrent to the close approach of fast, small boat attacks. Its combination of punch and precision made it a valuable asset in the Navy's efforts to defend against these dangerous and potentially deadly threats. As the U.S. Navy worked to modernize and adapt to the evolving nature of warfare, the M14 rifle stood as a symbol of the enduring strength and resilience of the American military. 
Despite the advancements in technology and tactics, the Navy recognized the continued value of this classic weapon in its ongoing mission to protect American sailors and ships from harm. The photographs from this era serve as a powerful reminder of the challenges faced by the U.S. Navy and the importance of maintaining a strong and versatile arsenal in the face of evolving threats. The images capture the determination and courage of the sailors who stood ready to defend their ships and their country, even in the face of perilous dangers posed by small boat attacks. Each photo tells a story of vigilance, preparedness, and the unwavering commitment to safeguarding the seas and securing the freedom of the United States. The M14 rifle holds a significant place in the history of the U.S. Navy, even as it was gradually replaced by the M16 rifle in the early 1960s. In 2011, it was estimated that about 10% of the original production M14 rifles were still in service or held within U.S. military stocks. Despite the transition to the M16, many active vessels maintained a few M14 rifles on board for specific purposes, such as line-throwing operations. For line-throwing operations, the M14 rifle is equipped with the MK87 line-throwing kit, which is reminiscent of early 20th-century grenade launching cup-style dischargers. This kit consists of a short cylindrical steel tube that is attached to the M14's flash suppressor and secured with a latch, wire loop, and safety retaining pin. The reusable hard rubber projectile, fitted with a stainless steel disc in the base, is used in conjunction with the M64 rifle grenade cartridge to propel the shot line. This shot line connection process is crucial to the U.S. Navy's underway replenishment UNREP, system, which is the primary method of transferring fuel, supplies, parts, and even personnel from one ship to another while both are underway. These photos capture a unique and important aspect of U.S. Navy history, showcasing the role of the M14 rifle in supporting crucial operational tasks. The maintenance of these rifles within military stocks reflects the continued recognition of their utility and effectiveness in specific scenarios, even as newer weapon systems were introduced. The use of the M14 rifles for line-throwing operations underscores the adaptability and versatility of this iconic firearm within the context of naval operations. As we reflect on these images and the historical significance of the M14 rifles in the U.S. Navy, we gain a deeper understanding of the evolving nature of military technology and the enduring legacy of certain weapon systems. These photos serve as a reminder of the dedication and ingenuity of the men and women who have served in the U.S. Navy, utilizing the tools at their disposal to ensure the success of vital operations at sea. The M14 rifles may no longer be as prevalent as they once were, but their impact and legacy continue to resonate within the annals of U.S. military history. In the early 1960s, a debate raged within the U.S. Navy about the pros and cons of the M14 rifle versus the M16. The M14, weighing in at 10.7 pounds when loaded, was known for its power, range, and accuracy with its 7.62 mm cartridge. On the other hand, the M16 was lighter at 8.8 .8 pounds when loaded. However, aboard U.S. Navy ships, the extra weight of the M14 was rarely an issue, and its capabilities were greatly valued by sailors. For many young sailors, their introduction to the M14 was a fascination with its real steel construction. Despite being considered a weapon from a bygone era, the M14 was still recognized as a capable defender of freedom. In fact, the Navy's sea, air, and land teams, better known as the SEALs, had utilized the M25 sniper rifle, developed from the M14, as well as the M14 Mod Zero Enhanced Battle Rifle EBR, systems. This endorsement from the elite SEALs spoke volumes about the continued relevance and effectiveness of the M14 in modern warfare. The M14 rifle had a long and storied history within the U.S. Navy. Originally introduced in the late 1950s, the M14 had replaced the M1 Garand as the standard-issue rifle for U.S. military personnel. 
Its introduction marked a significant shift in the capabilities and firepower of U.S. servicemen. The M14 was capable of semi-automatic or fully automatic fire, giving it versatility in combat situations. Its 7.62mm cartridge provided superior range and stopping power, making it a formidable weapon on the battlefield. During the Vietnam War, the M14 saw extensive use by U.S. forces, particularly by Navy SEALs and other special operations units. Its reliability and effectiveness in combat made it a trusted companion for many servicemen. Despite the introduction of the lighter M16 rifle during this time, the M14 remained a preferred choice for many due to its firepower and accuracy. The M14's legacy continued into the modern era, with its influence still felt within the U.S. Navy. Its role in the development of sniper rifles and enhanced battle rifle systems showcased its adaptability and enduring value. The M14's impact on naval operations and its continued use by elite military units highlighted its significance in U.S. military history. As we reflect on these old photographs of the M14 rifles aboard U.S. Navy ships, we are reminded of the enduring legacy and capabilities of this formidable weapon. The M14's contribution to naval operations and its continued relevance serve as a testament to its place in history and its impact on the brave men and women who served in the U.S. Navy.